Tim Talk. Tips for including kids on the spectrum. Hello, my name is Tim Rohr. I'm on the spectrum. Being on the spectrum means that you have a disability called autism. Autism is a mental disability that changes the way someone communicates, behaves, thinks, feels, or sees the world. I went through these differences when I was growing up. There are different types of autism, and I have high-functioning autism. Kids on the spectrum want to be friends with other kids too. We need to understand how to care for them since they are on a different level than the rest of us. Every kid with autism is different, just like how every kid without autism is different. We are going to discuss different scenarios to understand the care kids on the spectrum need and how we can be their friend. Raise your hand if you have questions about autism. How can we get someone's attention if they have autism? Kids on the spectrum may not answer you when you are trying to talk to them. This is because they are either focused on their work or toys or because they have a hard time understanding what is going on around them. If this happens, try getting their attention again. It always helps to ask them again. Note that they may not always talk in the same style as you or your other friends. How do kids with autism communicate? Each person with autism communicates differently. Some of them may not speak at all. They may use iPads that talk for them, or they may use communication cards to express their feelings. Some of them can only speak in short sentences. How do kids with autism get better with their communication? We have classes that help them get better with communication. We teach them social skills and speech therapy. Social skills and speech therapy help them get better with speaking and making friends with other kids. Even though they get better with communication through those classes, the communication challenges they have still exist. Do kids with autism talk about the same things over and over again? Yes, they can. This is because talking about things over and over again makes them feel comfortable. Talking about things over and over again are called special interests. They might talk about action figures, race cars, stuffed animals, or even the color purple over and over again. People on the spectrum feel happy when they talk about their special interests with other people. How can we talk to kids with autism about their special interests? Whenever we talk to our friends, we take turns about what we talk about. The same rule applies for when we talk to kids with autism. Your friend with autism likes to talk about the color purple over and over again, while you like to talk about dogs and cats. Allow your friend with autism to talk about the color purple with you for 10 or 15 minutes. And when it's time, invite her to talk about dogs and cats. What things are kids with autism sensitive to? Kids with autism may be sensitive to flashing lights, loud noises, such as fire alarms or clapping, certain smells, or by being touched. 
How can we accept their sensory sensitivities? If they don't like high fives, try waving at them instead. Let's suppose you and your friend with autism are on the playground together, and all of a sudden, there were sirens going off from a distance. The noises of the sirens made your friend with autism feel scared. Offer him to come with you to a quiet area and try to comfort him if he can. Try taking deep breaths together to help him feel calm from the situation. If you and your friend with autism want to hang out somewhere, sometimes hanging out at a sporting event or concert may not be the right place for him. Loud music or people cheering may scare him. He might prefer to hang out somewhere that is more quiet. Offer to make plans to hang out at the park, library, or mini golf instead. What is one way we can be friends with someone with autism? Offer someone with autism the chance to come to play dates or birthday parties with you and your group of friends. Feel free to play video games together as well. What hobbies do kids with autism have? Kids with autism have the same hobbies as the rest of us. Some like to play basketball, some like to paint, and others like to play the drums. But some kids with autism like to do the hobbies by following their own rules. They might play basketball just to shoot hoops, or they might play the drums just to bang the drums. How can we learn more information about understanding kids with autism? If you want to learn more about how to understand someone with autism, or how to include them, feel free to reach out to your parents, grandparents, teachers, or guidance counselors. They can give you more tips on how to understand the challenges kids with autism go through and what we can do to help them and be their friend. Thank you for watching my video. Remember kids, when you see someone with autism, please choose kindness, acceptance, and inclusion.